For the 13th time in recorded history, we have a major hurricane that is formed in the month of November in the Atlantic Ocean, making this a very rare event. And this is Major Hurricane Raphael, which is only hours away from making landfall in Cuba. This is where it is right now. It is actually a pretty impressive hurricane. Again, this is a pretty rare situation for the month of November. We don't usually see major hurricanes that are especially making landfall in land, especially for areas like Cuba. This is currently moving to the northwest and is expected to move into the Gulf of Mexico as we go into tonight and into the overnight hours, and it is expected to maintain hurricane intensity as it moves to the northwest. Over the last 200 years, we've only had 13 major hurricanes in the Atlantic Ocean and approximately 138 tropical depressions, storms, or even hurricanes. And this is obviously a pretty rare situation, especially for having something that is making landfall in Cuba today. This is what it looks like on the infrared imagery, a little closer look at it. Over the last few hours, it has actually begun to weaken, it looks like, at least according to infrared infrared imagery. That was the eye. It was a pretty small, tight eye just to the south of Cuba, and it is about to make landfall in Cuba over the next couple of hours, and a really penetrating heavy rainfall, high winds, and as well as storm surge are all expected here in western Cuba today. A very devastating situation for Cuba, especially since a lot of those places do not have power. And again, over the next 12 hours, this will cross over Cuba and eventually enter into the Gulf of Mexico. Now, there's been a lot of changes over the last 24 hours in terms of where Raphael is going to go after it crosses over Cuba, and it's a pretty substantial change. If you watch this morning's forecast or even yesterday's forecast, you would have probably noticed that most models are bringing this towards either Louisiana or Mississippi, which, by the way, if that happens, if we have a tropical depression or even a tropical storm make landfall anywhere along that Gulf Coast from Mississippi back through Texas, it would be the first time we've ever had something like that happen in the month of November. However, it does not appear as if that is going to happen anymore. Almost every computer model has now shifted towards a more westerly track over the next few days and eventually as we get closer to the weekend almost every model has this particular hurricane diving to the south moving towards areas like Mexico which is a very interesting change because again yesterday it was nothing like that almost every model was bringing this towards Louisiana or Mississippi which again would have been the first time in history we would have a landfall up there for a tropical storm or hurricane so good news right now for the United States here's the latest in terms of the intensity guidance from several different computer models Every model right now around category three or two intensity for the next several uh, days, really over the next two days. So even just west of Florida, this will still be a category two hurricane. It is likely to weaken as it moves more to the north into the Gulf of Mexico with a little bit more wind shear and colder water temperatures. But it's probably going to intensify again if it does end up moving more south towards Mexico. We could see this become another major hurricane as it moves towards Mexico. It would obviously still be the same name. But with that said, this could actually become a major hurricane twice in its lifespan. So definitely going to be something to watch for for those in Mexico. And this is the latest 1 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Notice hurricane warnings in effect for much of Cuba. We actually have tropical storm warnings in effect for Florida, but again, that's just the Florida Keys where there could be up to three feet of storm surge, some tropical storm force wind gusts, and even maybe a few fish nados or even tornadoes tonight in those areas. And that actually could happen even into southwestern Florida. So low tornado risk even just south of Cape Coral there in Florida. As we go into tomorrow, this will still be a major hurricane probably even over land so in Cuba we will probably still have at least somewhere around a high end category 2 or low end category 3 hurricane even as we go into Thursday and Friday this will maintain hurricane intensity and it'll probably stay a hurricane into Saturday the question will become does this go north or does this go south well if it goes south I do think that this could stay as a hurricane perhaps even become another major hurricane as it moves towards Mexico if it does take the turn to the north again that would be very rare for November we've never recorded a tropical storm making landfall in Texas, Louisiana, or Mississippi in the month of November. If that happens, it would be pretty rare, but I don't think if it does go north, it will be a hurricane. This will probably be a tropical depression or a very weak tropical storm because of the cold water temperatures. This is the latest in terms of where the probability is highest for tropical storm force winds. And right now, obviously, Cuba has the highest chance of that here over the next 24 hours as landfall occurs. There actually could be some tropical storm force winds in western Florida, so don't be surprised if the wind picks up a little bit tonight back over near Tampa, Cape Coral, but again, only winds upwards of maybe 35 to 40 miles per hour would be possible. And again, it's a very low chance overall. They're only giving it about a 5 to 10% chance of that happening in Florida. Eventually, this will move more to the west. Right now, very low chances of seeing tropical storm force winds even back up in Louisiana, Mississippi, or southeast Texas. But again, just something to monitor. Isolated power outages will be possible if you have any outdoor events this weekend. That's also something to keep in mind, especially for those right along the Gulf Coast.
and this is the only place in the United States right now that has forecasted storm surge, and that is the Florida Keys. Again, only around one to three feet of storm surge will be possible, so if you're along the immediate coastline, this is definitely something you want to keep in mind. Keep in mind as well, rip currents will be possible across the entire west coast of Florida over the next several days, so stay safe out there if you're going to the beach. We aren't expecting a tornado outbreak tonight, but there is actually a risk for a few tornadoes. We do have a 5% tornado risk back over in Key West, and a 2% tornado risk near Naples, Florida, and Marathon. Again, just stay weather aware, have a tornado action plan ready to go. There will probably be several water spouts, aka fish nados here, just off the coast of the Florida Keys over the next several hours as we go into tonight, but there also could be maybe a tornado or two, so just stay weather aware. I'm not expecting to go live for this, but just in case something does happen, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I, I will keep a close eye on it, but again, I don't think there's going to be a reason to go live tonight. Let's take you through the future radar, beginning with landfall here in Cuba over the next few hours. Again, it's only going to be over land for about three hours or so, so it's not really going to weaken a whole lot. But as it continues to move northwest, there will at least be a little bit of weakening, probably a pressure increase of like 10 millibars or so. So a little bit of weakening. As it moves into the Gulf, the HAFSB model, which is a hurricane model, actually shows this becoming a major hurricane again as we go into Thursday night into Friday morning. And it actually stays like that just north of the Yucatan Peninsula. This particular model, though, has it much further down to the south, and this is all the way barely just north of the Yucatan Peninsula, so there's a chance that this actually takes a much more westerly and southerly path than even a lot of the other models were showing, and if that does happen, this could easily stay as a Category 3 hurricane as it moves towards Mexico, and eventual landfall would be sometime around Sunday or Monday in Mexico, so definitely something to watch for if you're in Mexico, as this could be posing some major impacts there if it does stay a hurricane. And in case you couldn't see where exactly this is going in Mexico, well again, this is a more zoomed out look just so you can get an idea of where this is going to be located in the gulf again this model is the furthest southern model that i've seen thus far in terms of where this could be tracking so just keep that in mind it could actually be a bit further north than this and if it is further north this will be weaker in general so just keep that in mind but again notice the hafsb has this barely north of the yucatan peninsula going into friday morning and eventually makes landfall just south of texas back over in mexico sometime around sunday or monday so again definitely something to monitor if you're in mexico but for right now if you're in louisiana texas mississippi this isn't something you should be panicking about. Just stay aware that there is obviously a hurricane here moving into the Gulf of Mexico. And if it does end up going north towards the United States, it might end up being some sort of, again, low-end tropical storm, maybe even a depression. This is what it looks like on the ensemble members. So again, a big shift to the south and west over the last 24 hours. A lot of these ensembles were much further to the north. There are still a few that bring this again towards Louisiana, but most of them have this as a tropical depression in those areas. And then a few of them kind of drift down to the south. So again, monitor the trends closely in case you're in Mexico or in Louisiana but again the difference in terms of intensity is going to be uh, pretty substantial but again for the United States not expecting anything major also as we go into next week there is going to be a chance that we have another little tropical system trying to develop just north of uh, the Dominican Republic and as well as Haiti we might see a brief tropical depression or storm try to go towards the south side of Florida and Cuba as we go into this weekend so another thing to watch for and also the GEFS ensemble show another hurricane attempting to develop by the middle of November, which if that happens, again, I don't expect any big impacts here in the United States, but would just be something to watch for. This is the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center in terms of the general outlook. Right now, it does have a low chance of development just north of the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and Haiti over the next seven days. So we'll keep a close eye on this. This will probably be our last forecast talking about Raphael, unless some other change happens. So again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Click the bell icon down below so you're notified with the latest videos. Well, our next update will probably be more geared towards the weather that's coming up here in the United States.